Murder! Uh-oh, back again. <laughs> Just joking. So today we are getting a repeat model. I love Miss Macy. She's super gorgeous. I'll leave her information down below. So first off, I'm starting off by Prime, Prime Spray, the color du jour one. Um, and I sprayed the Omi Glow Spray after for the glow in the skin. I'm just going to brush that product into her skin so it can really start to seep in and really do what it needs to do for like texture and hydration. Next, I'm going in with the color du jour mattifying moisturizer and primer. I love this moisturizer for my more oily clients and when I really want to make the makeup last. And if she had more dry skin, I would go in with the Emperor Leaves. So now I'm just going in with the Becca Mattifying Primer. I like to put this in with my finger just because I don't like to put like that kind of consistency on with the brush. I'm going in with the Bite Lip Mask. I like to put a lip mask on my clients as I do their makeup. I have the Bite and the Lineage and honestly I just choose whichever one I pick up first. Next I'm going in with my Tried and True Black Opal Foundation Sticks. When I first used these it took me a while to love them but now I really really love them. Um, I love the coverage and the finish. Um, I'm mixing two shades together um, to get her perfect shade. I'm going to assume that I use warm almond and nutmeg. And now I'm just going to take my Real Techniques brush and buff, 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 buff that out. And really make sure I get rid of any of the lines that I created from swiping that foundation stick on her. And yes, I do sanitize my foundation sticks with alcohol after every client. Everything in this video, I sanitize it the correct way. I've worked at several of the makeup counters. So I just want to address that before we get too far, far into the video. So now I'm going in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and I'm just going to begin highlighting underneath her eye. I like to put a darker color first, that way it can help me blend out my lighter color. So I like to choose a color that's probably one shade lighter than her foundation. Which you see, this is almost the same color as her foundation, it's just a slight minor difference. And then on top I'm going to go in with I believe the Tarte Shape Tape and a little bit of the CoverGirl True Match um, Concealer. I honestly don't remember what shades I use other than Fawn, but um, just do something that you think will work for your clients. But I definitely recommend all of those concealer lines. The LA Girl, as you see, as it applies, it applies very thin. It's a very thin concealer. I used to love it, but then I would be shocked that it wouldn't cover as much because it's this thin. <laughs> contouring her skin. I believe I either contoured her with a black opal foundation stick or a William Tuttle. I'm so sorry guys, it's currently October 4th. I filmed this, I want to say September 9th. So if I don't remember everything, it's because I used to just do these Instagram videos, found the footage, and decided to put them on this YouTube channel.
now to set her makeup I'm going in with the Real Techniques sponge and the Sasha Buttercup powder so sorry for my ring light I filmed these videos at a very weird angle so sometimes it will knock into play and I didn't want to get rid of the clip in its entire entirety entire whatever they call that and then I'm just setting her nose contour in with the Hula toasted bronzer and dusting off that powder with the art pop Real Techniques brush I'm 50 50 on these um, yeah Next, I'm going in with the CoverGirl True Match Concealer in a way lighter shade than her skin. I honestly don't like this concealer for, like, using it for eyeshadow, or maybe I didn't put enough. As you see, it blended out really weird. It could have also been the brush that I used, but it's not typically my, the brush I would use to blend out this product. I typically use my Real Techniques Buffing Brush, but it just got really thin. I'm going in with my Morphe 25D palette, and I'm choosing that really orangey warm shade. I really wish Morphe put names for their shades because this is really unfair to you guys. But the only sh ones that I know that have names are the Jacqueline and the James. And I didn't use that for this look. So I'm just choose like a really warm, orangey, kind of toasty brown color. And you'll be able to achieve the similar look to what I do. Next, I went in with a more reddish brown shade to start building up the color. Because I knew I wanted to keep it really warm. But um, I didn't want to go dark too fast because I didn't really want to go too smoky for this look. So kind of right underneath it, I'm going in with like a warmer type of brownie shade. Now I'm going in with a really deep warm brown shade. I kept this look very warm as you guys can tell to really smoke that area out. Because this was a homecoming inspired glam. So I know the girls like to be smoky on their nights out. So I'm just adding this color into the outer V and then the inner part of the crease. Next, I'm going in, this is the only shade from the Jaclyn Hill palette. It is a dark brown shade. I'm going to get the name and put it in the description box. And I put that all over her lid. Next, I began smoking out underneath the lash line. I typically don't add this stuff because I find it so boring to watch. But I just like to use the same colors that I used on top. So that's actually just like the same dark brown, but by itself it looks like um, a little bit darker. And in the waterline, I use the Inglot 77 gel liner. I honestly forget what pigment I'm packing on, but I do know I did use a glitter from both glitters in the shade Embracing Nude, I think. I'm going to leave it in the description box below. All the products will be in the description box below. I'm just patting that product out. gonna start filling in her eyebrows I'm just going in with my brow powder palette from BH cosmetics I like this product for the price I don't think if it was $80 I would buy it now I have always been very fond of the Anastasia powder so if you have the money kind of just splurge it next I'm doing something that I love to do on my clients which is test on two different lashes and see which lash would fit the specific look and um, their eye shape most so I always put a more natural one on the left eye and I put a more fierce one on the right eye I just always happen to do it that way and as you guys see if you're like me the fierce one definitely wins by like a landslide I pop those bad boys on and now I'm highlighting her skin I know you guys love to see my dry face in the corner so sorry about that but again this is the angle I film this highlighter um, is from the BH Cosmetics Wild and Radiant Palette, and I just used the two darkest highlighters and put that. Oh my god, my elbow looks so crusty, so sorry about that. Next, I'm lining her lips. Again, yes, I do sanitize these with alcohol after every client. And Dark Brown by Ruby Kisses. As you see, it's not doing much. I hate these lip liners. They were all I had at the time, but now I have the MAC ones because my Pro Discount got approved. Looks good. Next, I'm using this um, Maybelline lipstick. Again, I do sanitize them just the way they do at the makeup counter when they put them on you. Um, and the shade Nude Embrace. I'm just buffing that in with a brush. That's how I like to blend out lipsticks. 
And then for a gloss on top, I would be absolutely lying if I said I remember what shade I used. So I won't. Oh, these are my ColourPop glosses, I think. No. Are they? Yes, I got them before. Did I get them? You see, now I'm on here lying. I don't know what color it is, but it's a peachier gloss. I think it was from Buxom, actually. I'm not thinking about it. So sorry, guys. Again, like I said, I filmed this over a month ago. So I think I remembered it good enough. <laughs> um, so yes, this is the end of the tutorial. I didn't do anything else after this except spray her face. I hope you guys enjoyed this homecoming look. If you guys use it on either your clients or yourself, let me know. Send it to my page. I would love to see your re re recreation of the looks and stuff like that. I promise to bring some more lip colors. I am a nude lip girl. So I'll just do various variations of nude lips, but I promise to be better for you. The spraying her face, the client's favorite part. Some clients love it, some clients hate it. And I'm just fluffing up that hair, and there she goes, looking absolutely gorgeous. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And see you guys next time. Bye.